Hello, dear people. How are you doing? Welcome to Akabans. Hey, 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 hey. You're welcome to my channel. I'm excited to be here talking with you. Yeah. But welcome to my channel. I put out a video about myself and Bay titled How We Met. And it's been crazy. I haven't seen the amount of love, comments, likes on my video for a long time. So, yeah. Myself and Bay are going to be doing more videos. What do you expect? We're going to give it to you. If you like it, we give you. How will you take if we don't give you again? But yeah, before I go into what I got to talk about with you today, please subscribe to my channel. Follow on Instagram. And please like this video before even watching it. Okay. <laughs> and share with everybody that you know. All right. So I'm just going to go straight into it right now. Um, so I want to talk about, you know, something that I feel like, you know, is very, very timely right now in the moment that we're living in, which is the Nigerian 2019 elections. If you're not in Nigeria, ha, thank God for your life. If you're in Ghana, Kutunu, you are even still better than us that is in this country. So we have witnessed the rigors, the craziness, the... I think right now in my generation, we're like old enough to really understand the craziness and the 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 dirtiness of the nigerian 2019 the nigerian elections generally like when i was younger i used to hear rigging 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 but i never understand it i never could grasp what actual rigging really like implies and to be honest we have to give kudos to good luck jonathan whether you like him or not as a nigerian president you have to give it to him. He did his best to ensure that we had a more freer election process. It was closest, it was the closest we had to a free fair election. Because when he was president, um, a lot of people just thought that Buhari would never win because you cannot come against the power of the incumbent, which is the power of the person who is sitting on the on the seat, you know? And then Buhari won. And before Buhari, before the, the announcements, he actually conceded, like he made that freaking call. Um, but right now, I now understand what they mean by the power of the incumbent. Like, it's hard to win against the power of the incumbent. Right now, APC is doing everything they can. Hook, line, sinker, under the cooks, under the crook. Like, they are doing uh, force, violence money intimidation blackmail a you know insult tribalism everything nepotism if you don't know what nepotism is check your dictionary <laughs> yes a uh, violence blackmail a uh, stifling of funds using efcc to get out come after people they've used uh, the media there's nothing they've not used to make sure that Buhari stays or stayed in power. Guys, like they've used even bullion vans. People's bullion van has entered people's house in this Nigeria. Tinubu had two bullion vans a day to the freaking presidential elections. And he was just saying, It's my money. I have the right to spend my money the way I want. I'm not I'm not working in any government agency. You cannot say that it's politics or that you cannot say that it's government money. So I have the right to give anybody my money. I'm like, what? Does this man even know that he has actually violated the um, Money Laundering Act? Like, this is a crime on its own. Just moving that amount of cash to freaking bullion vans. Who does that? Tinobu. Lagos State is owned by one man. You know? And this was the machinery, the power, the structure... He was just one of the people that they used to make sure that Buhari stayed in power. And it's just crazy, like, the impudence in what they employed and used to just make sure that Buhari stayed in power is beyond me. So, my Nigerians. But you know what? Everybody kept saying, and to be honest, this was a, the moment in time that I feel like more influencers, more celebrities came out and said, guys, get your vote. Whether we like it or not, whether we accept it or not, 
whether Buhari stays in power or not, whether he comes to, whether he's president or not, we have to, we have to be aware and acknowledge the fact that, to be honest, for the first time, we sent a message. With all their rigging, all their violence, all their rigiraga, all their this is to make sure that okay, those places that will not vote for Buhari, they will not vote. All the times that all the things that they did to make sure that people in the south will not get their PVCs or people in the west will be frustrated. With everything they did, the difference between you know Buhari and Atiku wasn't much. It wasn't much. So I really feel like this has sent a clear message that you know what, if your candidate is shit or trash. It will be hard for you to rig. But the truth is, a lot of people still couldn't vote because a week to the elections, you know, they postponed the elections. So that was also a factor in making sure that people didn't vote. Everything was, you know, was galvanized to make sure that people didn't vote. And the people who voted, you know, um, just were frustrated. Most of them were frustrated. I mean, there were polling units that, yeah, no violence. Oh, we're sweet and cool. Oh so nice oh everything is going so well and then you know celebrities putting on their instagram pages Ooh. but there were places that it was going down it was real places like uh you know first tag um uh Okoko Maiko, you know all of those places where they knew that a lot of evil people might not vote for buhari and yeah it serves him right but yeah um that's what's happening here in Nigeria. If you're in Canada, abroad, if you're a Nigerian and you're in Canada, God has done your own for you. Ah! Please, I want to learn how to sing the uh, Canadian National Anthem. Please come and teach me so that I will know that uh, I would like to sing it too in a few years from now for me and my kids. So let's now move to um, the House of Rep elections. Look, my generation, and I'm, I said it, I put it on Banky's um instagram account i put it up on my twitter but the truth is my generation will forever be grateful to banky w banky w i salute you for what you've done for what you stand for we respect you we acknowledge that you have shown us the way you you didn't just show us the way you actually started walking on that path and we will follow we will follow bro let me tell you something because to be honest like banky w won most of the polling okay you just know you guys recap Banky W, Nigerian artist who decides that, you know what, instead of complaining and fighting and shouting about this government, let's start making things work by ourselves. Let's get into government. Let's stop shouting too young, um, not too young to vote bill. Let us go into government. And this guy didn't go for presidency. He didn't go for senator. He didn't go. He went for House of Reps. He didn't go for governor. Uh, yes, senator, governor, presidency. He went to the House of Reps. And this guy works hard. I, will, I was at a few town hall meetings. I was also part of people who helped him to, you know, talk to pockets of rural areas in Lagos. He's because he was vying for the seat, House of Rep seat at, at of Etiosa. Look, Banky W worked hard. I could I can tell you for a fact that Banky W didn't really sleep for more than four hours for two weeks. Like this guy worked hard to make sure that you know he he, he had a voice and he was going to prove that he had a voice and to make his voice heard. Let me tell you something. Even the Yobanikurus, the they the were afraid. They were like, ah, this guy. He won most polling units, but the way our democracy is, even if you want win 10 polling units, and one unit has more people than the other polling units. The opposition has more people. For example, if he won, you know, nine polling units, and in each polling unit, he got 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, more than the opposition who had like 700, 700, 700. And then, let me say, at Lagos Island, the opposition now got 10,000. He's a winner. So, my people, that was how Banky W lost. But I will not say he lost. No, Banky W won. Because to be honest, we are, mo see, we are ready. 2023. Elections. Nigeria will hear it. Do we what here? Because I'm gonna come out for president. No, I'm gonna come out for House of Rep. <laughs> we're gonna go into this politics. We're gonna show them that they're not the only ones. We're gonna show them that we have a, fat, a voice. We're gonna show them that we're ready to take this country to the helm of affairs. What am I saying? Okay, now let's talk about the gubernatorial elections. I'm sure you must have seen his face everywhere. You must have seen his face in your sleep. You must have. 
opened your cereal box and you see his face coming out. Sanwulu. I really feel with what Lagos Nigerians have shown with Buhari, I don't think Tinobu has been that much power over the will of the people anymore or to, you know, manipulate the will of the people. Um, and I think he's realized that with this presidential election and I think he's going to be like, ah, Echo cannot fail because he calls himself Echo. Echo cannot fail. What are we going to do to make sure that Sanwolu becomes governor? And I really feel like right now they're going to put everything they have because I know that there are people who are resolved that this Sanwolu must not be my governor. If he like, let his face be on the sky. Let his face be on Top Milan Bridge. As we are driving on the bridge, let his face just be there. We are not going to vote him. But I don't know. A lot of thugs, a lot of, um, you know, miscreants and Nikon poops are the ones who feel the polling units. Um, and they have that structure, Agbero structure, they have it. Their councillors and, you know, um, local government councillors and local government chairmen are Agberos. Do you understand? So they know how to galvanize. And everything is attached to one, like all tentacles are attached to one being called Tinubu. And, um, but I really feel like if the people make a decision to say, no, I'm going to vote for somebody else. I mean, I, I really don't want this guy to be governor because I don't feel he worked for it. What's his name? Agbaje. You okay? Because after this election, I know he will go and sleep. He will not see him again till 2023. He will just come out. Ah, I'm ready for governor. Do you know? Like he only comes out every four years interval. Like, sir, can you just sit down? We don't want you. But there's this other guy who was at the gov gubernatorial um, candidacy, um, you know, debate. Splendid, amazing. That's an amazing guy. We should vote for. So. Um, if we know what we are doing in Lagos, let's just get somebody else. It cannot be APC, it should not be PDP. Let's just get somebody else, you know. But yeah, I just hope that we will not get some Wolu. Is it crazy that I'm saying these things? Will they come for me? I'm, well, I'm not afraid because my fortress is the Lord. Praise the Lord. Nobody can touch me. But yeah, um, that's it. I hope that Tinubu gets to understand that. Um, and people get to understand. That if we say no as one people, if we all come out and say yes or say no, no regain, no regain. Imagine if 100 people, 100,000 people are registered to vote and 90,000 say no, which regain will make it yes? This regain thing is subjective. Don't let them tell you that if it doesn't count, we will rig it. It's a lie. Your power is in the mind. If you come out and say, see, we go, we go register and we go do one. Nobody can rig it. And that's what I think that we, uh, a huge majority has sent to the people, the political elites, that shit, people are waking up. And that, it counts. So let's see in 2033. We've not lost the battle now because somehow, I just really, oh my God. I have to talk about the fact that this guy, Senator Saraki, did not win. Look, if there's anything I will take away from this election as the silver lining, it is that Senator Bukola Saraki did not win his seat again. His senatorial seat in his district, they rejected him, they said no, and he's good. And because you can see now, it's not about PDP or APC, it's about the candidate. We have to be focused on who the person is. I don't care what he did, whether he was fighting Buhari. Everyone knows I don't like Buhari. I don't want the two of them. They are evil people. So thank you, Nigerians. Thank you, people of Kwara, for waking up and saying no. But this guy shall won his seat. What's his name? Dino Melani. To be <laughs> one of my production guys is like. <laughs> see, he was singing like me too. Hey, Shane, <laughs> He gave praise to God. You see, this man is a theatrical, dramatic man. He's an actor. And that's why a lot of stupid Nigerians love him. His drama. And the people are just laughing. I like this man, Joe. Oh, look at him giving praise to God. Hey, yeah, you're eating your life. And you're saying, look at him it's giving praise to God. However, the truth is, we have to give him a little bit of kudos. He's a senator that has, has had almost the most... Um, pushed bill in the Senate. Like, he has like five bills to his name, 
one senator because most of them don't go to work they don't sit down there they most of them they don't appear most of them they don't push any bill but he is one of the senators that has pushed the most i think he actually has the accolade of having the most bills pushed from one senator i think he does or his first three but one of them that was something that's something even though they are stupid constituent projects he's done a lot of constituency projects even though they are stupid because all these building four blocks of classroom uh, doing toilets doing bottle those are stupid projects that the senator should be doing why don't you put make projects you know that will impact the lives of the people mentally socially and economically like really like they something that will make them emancipate instead of you know what i mean that's what the people like so i i, I mean and they think that's what is okay and that's why they bring him back oh well i'm good yeah so um he's done most of that because that's their standard of doing something for the people buying motorcycle and okay yeah he has done that yeah so yeah um he's done most of that so i have to give that to him okay in your stupid low base you know achievement you've tried some more but i really feel like your constituency budget is like 100 million you spend 3 million on the people and then use 25 million to buy yourself a car then use 10 million to spend on one babe like i just like yeah so yeah that's all i gotta say about the um 2019 elections people wake up so guys this is the end of the video please do not forget to talk about what you feel about 2019 elections i want to read your comments and actually i actually try to re reply a lot of people i respond so please like subscribe and do not forget do not forget to share this video thank you very much i love y'all peace